Hey YouTube, uh, this is going to be my first uh, little uh, Total War Battle Help video. Um, I'm playing uh, Rome Total Realism 7, the Fate of Empires mini mod campaign. And uh, I really recommend this uh, as a good starter before the, the excellent Rome Total Realism team actually release the grand campaign for Rome Total Realism 7. I'm really eagerly awaiting that. Um, you can, uh, you know, there are lots of fans of Europe of Barborum, and uh, there's already lots of videos of, uh, of Roma Serectum 2, which are pretty good mods in their own right. And uh, Roma Serectum 2 especially took the graphics engine and just totally uh, revolutionized it. But as far as realism, toughness, um, a real good war simulator. We're all total realism is where you need to go. So uh, we're going to start this. And uh, I've seen there are already some videos up about uh, Carthaginian and Roman campaign. So I'm going to pick a not so popular choice for the total realism. Kingdom of Epiros. And uh, there's just something about uh, the Kingdom of, Ep of Epiros's unit balance and their army and the history. Their leader, King Pyrrhus, uh, everything about it just is inspiring and uh, it makes for a really tough, very uh, very fun campaign. And I'm going to set the battle difficulty to hard and we're going to go ahead and get started. And I apologize for the TV in the background. It's just no way around that. <laughs> and uh, so, of course, Rome Total Realism starts up, and. Uh, And uh, makes you start a script, and then it drags you immediately into the Battle of Heracula. Yeah, it's gonna show that uh, King Pyrrhos Aikides uh, landed at Tarentum to save the Greek cities from Roman dominion, and uh, you can read the history on it, but I won't go through that. You can do that. And, uh, it's going to fling you straight into uh, a very uh, strong battle against a, against a very powerful Roman enemy. And uh, it's a tough battle. If you, do, if you try to do auto-resolve, you'll probably lose this battle and you will lose most of your army. And your campaign will pretty much be doomed from the very start. So you need to win this battle at all costs. We're going to get started. As you can see here, the, um, the Epirotes, since they, they weren't a very populated nation, they lack, um, they lack infantry. Uh, but they make up for it in bravery, morale, and training. King Gerhos went to great lengths to uh, import the best men Train, train his very best among the Molossians and the uh, uh, the other the Caonians and the other two uh, tribes that were most prominent in Epirus. And uh, of course, he also managed to uh, get war elephants from Ptolemy of Egypt. So we're going to go ahead and start this battle. Okay, so you begin with, um, you're going to begin with just your uh, Epirote Astatauri, which are like silver shields kind of for the Epirotes, and then your uh, standard line as a Tyauri, and uh, Opalites, and your Kaolinion Agema, 
is always going to be your strongest combo light unit. They're made to, uh, they're really made to tend the flanks. And then, and, uh, on the flanks, we at least get some very heavy cavalry and, of course, Indian elephants. So, but then, I think kind of a mistake of, of, uh, the Rome Total Realism team is that they make you start out with about five units of general bodyguard when in reality most of these sons of King Pyrrhos were really too young to be doing much fighting and thus had probably little part if, if, if not even were not even present at the battle at all. So I, I felt that they could have added a different cavalry unit to help things like that. So, I'm going to pause one second while I get my formation correct. So here we are. Um, I'm very meticulous in how I uh, set up my flank and my all my formations in this battle. Uh, and the terrain is really crucial because the Romans are just going to flat out overpower you if you face them dead on on that field down there when you first start out for this battle. So I moved him up on this hill and uh, I put um, my pikemen of course in the center with my strong pikemen on the right as well as my uh, Kalanon Agema and uh, my light spearmen because I'm anticipating them smashing my right flank. Whereas on the left flank, I want them to actually encircle me while my cavalry actually goes behind and routes their entire reserve. And my elephants will come in and save the day on the left. And uh, I also put my general, King Pyrrhus, uh, with his companion, 